Five seconds of summer fans have been criticizing Billboard for an alleged chart error, and now the five sauce drummer Ashton Irwin has joined them with guns a blazing. What's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest news updates from my at home Clever studio. And just in case you missed it, Five Seconds of Summer released their highly anticipated fourth studio album, Calm, on March 27th. Calm received extremely positive reviews from fans and critics, and it topped the charts in both the UK and Australia. But the album debuted at number two in the US, only 2,000 copies behind The Weeknd's album, After Hours. But fans have been speaking out saying that it actually sold more than The Weeknd's album, and now one of the Five Sauce members himself is speaking out on the matter, saying that they missed the number one spot on a shipping error technicality. And we'll get to all the tea, because honestly, it's intense. But first, go ahead and subscribe to Clever News if you haven't already, so you never miss out on any breaking news updates. All right, so what happened? Well, shortly after Calm came out, Five Sauce tweeted that because of a shipping error, 10,000 copies of the album were sold one week early, and consequently, Billboard didn't include them in their first full tracking week of sales. They wrote, quote, Hey guys, we found out a few days ago that due to a shipping error, around 10,000 copies of our album were sent out early in the US. Those albums will now appear in this week's Billboard chart, a week before our album was due to chart. We still wanna make our album chart next week as big as possible and want to thank you all so much. Okay, first off, whoever placed the early shipment, well, take cover, you've got many upset Five Sauce fans. Once the numbers came out and fans saw that Five Sauce was only a couple thousand copies behind The Weeknd's album, they were quick to realize that had the 10,000 albums been included, Calm would have landed at number one on the Billboard 200 in the US. And as usual, fans were quick to hop on Twitter to share some thoughts. One person wrote, quote, retweet if you agree that Billboard should do the right thing and come to a compromise by counting the 10,000 sales or even half of the sales from the clerical error. So Five Sauce can claim their much deserved fourth number one album. Another said, quote, I love you guys so much, you deserve a number one album again. And another wrote, such a bummer that there was an accidental early release of 10,000 Five Sauce records and they lost number one by only 3,000. Someone should lose their job. These guys deserve number one. And now Five Sauce drummer Ashton Irwin has spoken out about the disappointing situation and continued to thank fans for their support. He posted a video on Twitter and captioned it saying, quote, I'm apprehensive to share this video. I think I've censored myself fairly well. I feel fearful to speak up about the albums that went out early for fear of losing partnership with media outlets, but here's some thoughts. Ashton started off by explaining his frustration with the situation that they ended up actually losing out on even more copies than they originally thought. Hello everybody, it's me. I just wanna say I appreciate you contesting um, and fighting for our number one record in the US. We're left with the number two spot this week. And may I add that I think it is absolutely astonishing and incredible that we are even at the top of those charts in the caliber, caliber of artists that are there with us. Records were released a week early that we had no control over, which is very disappointing. And quite honestly, my heart broke when I found out about that. Then he went on to explain that while Billboard has actually gone back and fixed the numbers for other artists in the past, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen for them. This week we're in the number two position. Um, other artists have had records released early before and the charts have been amended. Seems like that's not gonna happen for us but I want you to know that I am extremely proud of this fan base. And Ashton ended his video by sending love to the fan base. He said, quote, I love you guys, remain sincere, keep voicing when things are wrong, and I'll try and be as brave as you are. And fans are obviously rallying behind Ashton on his Twitter post. I wanna know what you guys think about this though. Do you think Billboard should reverse the early release error and give Five Sauce their number one spot? Or do you think they should leave it as is? Let me know and get the conversation started down in the comments below. But one person replied to Ashton's tweet and wrote, quote, we are proud of you regardless where you chart. However, this is a problem that needs to not only be addressed, but fixed. You deserve that number one. Please know you are always number one to us no matter what happens. Calm is insane and I'm grateful you shared it with us. Hashtag billboard include the 10K. Another said, I'm genuinely so sorry that your hard work is being disrespected by some companies, by some errors, but we have your back always. And another wrote, we will not stop fighting for you guys. You guys deserve the number one spot and we all know it. 
And this five sauce fan has to be given a shout out because he made a video expressing his feelings. He tweeted, Billboard, sort it out. Other fans went as far as creating a petition that called for the early release era to be reversed, so the number of albums sold would change. And the petition is almost at its goal of 35,000 signatures. Now that's a pretty dedicated and impressive fandom if you ask me. As of now, Billboard hasn't responded to the backlash or to Ashton's video, but we will continue to update you if they do. So that's the news I've got for now, but if you're a true Five Sauce fan and want to test your knowledge on the band, click right over here for another Clever video. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll catch you later right back here on Clever News. I'm not sure why I'm saying that. <laughs>